Hi, my name is Isma and I'm the director and camera operator of the White Line Films. We're here in Onzer, Switzerland, high up in the mountains, and we thought we would do a little uh, product review of these gorgeous little Velbon tripods, which we have been using as our primary uh, tripod solution for our cameras. Um, so first off, a little bit about where we got them. We got them at the London Camera Exchange uh, in Guildford, which is... Uh, my local independent camera shop and really we went in there to look for some expert advice and um, we needed something really lightweight um, something that we could carry around set up quickly in the snow because obviously these conditions aren't exactly perfect for shooting for camera operation kind of other grip equipment so yeah we needed something that was quick light and easy to carry around uh, kind of on the sides of our bags or in our bags that kind of we could just forget about that wouldn't cause us any problems. These tripods retail at about 100, 110 pounds, something like that, and they're worth every penny. So first off, I'm gonna show you uh, the usability of the legs and how quick they are to set up, uh, which is obviously pivotal for us um, getting, a, getting a shot in the snow. We need to set up fast uh, to, to nail the riding. So all it takes is four clockwise clicks of the bottom leg to fully extend it, and then anti-clockwise turning to lock the legs. Within that you can adjust the height and really kind of temper the tripod to your needs. So there we go, that is a fully extended tripod. Uh, really nice height for us. Uh, once the camera and the head is mounted onto the tripod, it's about eye level, so great. Uh, if you want to extend the height further, there's a little switch here, which is really easy to use and you just flick it up and then this middle column extends to give you even more height for the tripod. Simple as that, push that up and that gives you another 10 inches or so, which is great. So that's the height, uh, all done and dusted, which is obviously great. Um, but again, sometimes we need some low shots when we're trying to make a jump look as big as possible. The kind of trick for us is to get really low. Um, and with the video tripods that we're usually used to, uh, to shooting with, it's kind of hard to get that angle. Um, but with this, it's really, really nice and simple. You literally just unscrew the central column, the same central column that pops up, so it's multi-use. takes a couple of seconds, throw that in the snow, making sure you don't lose it. And then these little switches, you push them, push the legs down slightly to reveal the little, uh, little tab, and then extend the leg out. So leg down, slide the button across, down, across, and there you have it. Perfect. So obviously these tripods um, seem to be designed primarily for photo use. Um, you can tell that obviously they're, they're not designed for heavy duty cameras uh, that we are using. Uh, but the great thing is that we can actually mount our own fluid video heads on top of it. So it screws in nice and quick. You just put it in, give it a few turns. I wouldn't actually recommend doing this in the snow. Uh, we have the tripod ready prepared with the head before we leave in the morning. But there you have it, nice and tight. Just flip the lock and that is extremely stable. So the great thing for us uh, with this tripod um, is how quick we can get it set up from the bag to actually shooting in the snow, making sure we have a nice stable surface and uh, using our own cameras. So I'm just going to show you uh, with my own camera that the tripod really is nice and stable. So for some examples of uh, real world shots that have been done using this tripod, head on over to our website, thewhitelinemovie.com. Um, and once again, thank you to the lovely people at the London Camera Exchange in Guildford and uh, the equally lovely people at Velbon um, for helping us out with this fantastic tripod.